I have to confess something. Eternal life does scare me. I don't know why. I don't think I can give an honest answer as to why eternal life sometimes gives me an uneasy feeling. God could more or less give a better explanation than I can. But, you know, regardless of this fact, I actually do want to experience eternal life. And you know something? Of course I will. At some point during my existence, I will cross that threshold from mortal life to eternal life, just like all the rest of us, and especially those who have already made that journey. Everyone from Adam and Eve to the most recent person who has passed away. And I don't know why, but the first name that comes to mind is Bishop John Shelby Spawn. He's the only one that I can think of right now who has recently passed away. Oh, and not to mention those poor, innocent people who died in that shooting at the um, Oxford High School in Oakland County, Michigan. May they rest in peace. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, we're all going to experience eternal life. It's part of our destiny. But the question at hand is, what kind of eternal life are we all going to experience? Individually, of course. Are we going to experience an eternal paradise with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, as well as the saints, which might include some of our loved ones here in this world right now? Or are we going to experience eternal punishment with the devil, his demons, and the souls of those who have rejected God? Those who are the tortured souls in hell right now. I think that's something that we all should pretty much think about. And with that being said, I want to say this. For those of us who really want to guarantee that we will have eternal life in paradise with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, I would say that the best way in order to guarantee that is by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Because when you accept Jesus, you accept God. You know, some people are afraid that for whatever reason, they're not going to be accepted by God into heaven for one reason after another. There's a saying that goes, Hell is not full of those whom God has rejected. Hell is full of souls of whom have rejected God. So it's not so much people that God has rejected. It is those who have rejected God. When you read the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells us that it is not the will of God that man should perish. But unfortunately, it does happen, and the reason why it does happen is because they reject God. And they especially reject God's gracious gift of eternal life that only comes to us through Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made on the cross on Good Friday. So, what I would suggest is that if you really want to secure a more paradise form, of eternal life, I would say that the best place to start would be by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then from then on, spend time in communication with Jesus Christ through prayer. That's the best way to communicate with Jesus is through prayer. And ask him to help you on your spiritual journey as you move along in life and as you get ready to cross that threshold from mortal life to eternal life and actually meet Jesus face to face in the realm of eternal life. That would be the best place to start. Remember, God, who has begun a good thing in you, will complete it. Never forget that. So, in order to have eternal life in a more paradise form, rather than a punishment form, the best place to start is by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God bless.